Media Composer has two ways to speed up or slow down a shot. One is called Time Warp, and Time Warps exclusively have happen only after clips are on the timeline. The other, where we're exploring in this movie, is what's known as a motion effect. Motion effects are found here under your Fast menu. I'm just going to tear this off a moment. And you'll see the motion effect is here. It sort of looks like a, a tilted clip. If I'm using these frequently, I find it a little bit easier to go grab my command palette, to take the motion effect, and I'm just going to drag it here and put it onto my source side buttons. That way, if I want to take a shot, for example, the in and out between here where the camera is panning along and I want to speed it up or slow it down, all I have to do is press this motion effect editor. Motion effects can be set by the duration, how many frames you want. For example, maybe I want this to be 300 frames. You can set it at a specific frames per second. I could say, I'd like you to make this at, mm, say, 12 frames per second. Or I can type a specific speed, like 33.33%. If I have an in and out on the timeline, fit to fill becomes something that's fairly useful. I'm going to cancel this. I could perhaps say I'd like this to start here. I'd like to have it end at this spot. Oh, undo, undo, there we go. I'd like to have it end on this spot on V1. There's no audio with a motion effect, nor with a time warp. I have four points. I can go ahead here and I get the choice of figuring out a four point edit, a fit to fill, and it calculates automatically how much it needs to fit that gap. In this case, it needs to speed up approximately 200% to be able to fit that gap. It's going to have to double the speed between this in and out point to fit here. I also have the ability to, and this is optional, to strobe the motion. Strobing the motion says it updates every so many frames. I see a lot of people use this with a 100% speed. So it moves normally, but strobes gives it a very juddery effect. It's a pretty neat effect for stuff. It's a nice effect if that's what you're looking for. When you're done, regardless of what you do, a fit to fill that'll perfectly fit so I can overwrite this to the timeline, whether you strobe or not, your next choice is going to be to render, to, to go ahead and build this. And the next section will be talking about these different methods. I'm for the moment here just going to say duplicated field. I'm gonna say create. It's gonna say, where would you like me to put the media? I wanna put it onto the Mac Pro video storage. I'll hit create. I'll put it in the marching bin because that's where the clip came from. Or I could create a new bin of speed effects. In fact, that's probably a better idea. I'm going to say OK. I'll dock this in. I'll change its generic name to speed effects. And since this was done as a fit to fill, it's a four point edit. I can just go ahead here and say overwrite. And it perfectly fits that even though it's sped up about 197%.